An additional file saving option that you have in Photoshop if you are wanting to save files specifically for the web is the save for web option. And you'll notice here in this image that I have on the screen, we have a picture of Dexter, cartoon character, and I've removed the background that was in this illustration and so it's currently transparent. And perhaps you want to save this image for the web but maintain the transparency that exists there. So Photoshop gives you a number of options in order to actually save for the web. Let's just go to File, Save for Web and take a look at the options that we have. So here is our file and you'll notice over here on the right there's a number of presets. One is normally the default is PNG24 and that is the preset that we would typically use to maintain the transparency of the document and you can see they actually have a checkbox that allows us to make sure that that transparency is maintained. If I were to set this to JPEG, which is another web-based file format, say JPEG High, you'll notice how it removes the transparency because the JPEG file format doesn't maintain transparency at all. It isn't created as a file format in order to do that, but we can adjust the quality here with a slider uh, depending on how high or how low quality our JPEG needs to be. There's also uh, presets, uh, JPEG high, low, and medium. Another option that we have here is to save our file format in the GIF file format. And this can come in handy if you're created animated GIFs where each layer is another frame in the animation. And so in that case, you would select one of these like say GIF 128 dithered and you'll notice that it does maintain transparency we do have that option here and you have control over how many colors are rendered and you can see the color table listed here okay so you know exactly what is going to be saved from a document and information perspective if you're saving it in this file format so in this case we're going to select PNG 24 and we want to maintain the transparency. There is no color table because it's saving it in the full 24-bit file format, which means we're getting all of the data that we need. And by the way, you'll notice down here in the left-hand corner, it actually tells you the final file size. So in the PNG24 file format, the final file will be around 84.82 kilobytes, okay? If I were to switch that over to say JPEG high, you notice that it actually is much smaller, 19.8. If I chose say GIF 128 dithered, it's 22K. So PNG is definitely a larger file format because you're preserving more color data without compression. And that's really a big point that we wanna make here. So once you choose the web file format that you wanna use, in this case, we're gonna use PNG 24. Simply click done. And that's it. It automatically saved it to the folder where I had chosen.